Hello everybody and welcome. To the game I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk you through the HBOMB HTML editor for Windows CE. I have it running now on my Jornada 720. And well, it's a very simple application as you can see and let's go through the features. We have on the top here a toolbar. The, your HTML code goes here and there are some menus here uh, that add some functionality to it. So let's see file. So you can manipulate files, so create, and create, save, open, you know, you can see a recent files list. And if you type preview in browser, it's, huh, I cannot, I need to save it first. But if I do, I call it test. Yeah, it launches Internet Explorer and opens it. And you can see that my web title here is down here, yeah. So I'm gonna close this so it doesn't complain that I have the file open. So let's just kill it. Um, let's see if I make it brighter, if I will get a better image. So let's go to settings and let's do 100% brightness. Oh, it still oscillates a bit, but seems to be better. So let's keep it this way. So we can do call it win ce mega page. Um, we have a body line here, and the application actually helps us add HTML layout features um, to the code, right? So if I go here to, for example, I'm going to call it headings and it's going to be H1. And when I edit, you see I got H1 here. And if I go now center, then the text that I will enter now is going to come in the center. So now we can write um, in production. So now if I save it and preview in browser, then I get, you see, the title of the page is we see mega page now and we have an introduction. And then we can, um, this is a web page If you save it again, you see that it follows the basic HTML construction and it generates a really clean code because well, basically there's nothing here, right? You want to add a directory, for example, right? Gives you the chance of creating it. We can call it testdir and you can Preview in browser again. Then you have, uh, uh, you know, a tabulation here. What else? Mm. So in layout, you just get basic HTML for formatting text, right? But if you go to tools, and you go back, for example, here to this text body, you can insert an image and you need of course to have the image already up uploaded somewhere so you're gonna need the image source address and some alternative text um, i'm not sure if this is a caption for the image or what shows if the image doesn't load but you can show where to align it and when you click add 
um, it's going to generate the code for you. Yeah, so I can go like uh, test, and there is no such thing as a test file on my computer. But if you do add, it just you see creates the image source here, and if you run, then you see the image doesn't load because it's not pointing anywhere, right? And let's see, you can, uh, there are some options here. Uh, I already checked this restore any and it has very little options there. It just keeps basically track of your recent items and whatever you see here on the screen. Um, and, but you can also add scripts, including JavaScript. So if you click add, you see there is now an area for JavaScript that you can insert from somewhere else, or if you're masochistic enough, you can write it here. I actually wanted to use this on my, um, how's it called, my IRO 8000 to write a few serious things for myself, but unfortunately, this resolution is hard coded, so it doesn't run full screen. And I would love to get in touch with its developer and just get this code to create this, you know, input area using the whole resolution of my IRA thousand. It would be actually a very pleasant uh, machine to write my basic web page. Yeah. Uh, you can create tables, right? So when you add a table, you can say, let's do it in the body. Yeah? So for example, Let's remove this test dir and my image. And I can just create a line to make my life a bit easier. And let's go to table. And my table is going to be called So we have a table, right? And then we can do what we go back to the there in table, we add the table row, mm -hmm. uh, table header, my table. And you see now I got a table header. And if I save and preview, then you see I got the table here. And it just works. Uh, you can create forms, right? So even like a password field, uh, you can create a drop down menu, text areas, and all very complicated to do here, but why not, right? So you may be you may be wanting to really work offline, slow down and on the code that you write and not be dependent on any publishing platform and it of course gonna generate very clean code right it's gonna load very fast anywhere and you, if you can take the time you can just write it, your page here and just add things to it and you know why not all right you can also format your font here so for example if i come here can i select this i can possibly select this and make this bold yes yeah, so you see it adds the bold tag here and here so now if i preview this it's gonna be in bold and that's pretty much much it you have this option multi-paste so you have like a keyboard with multiple entries to make your life easier so you can copy snippets of code and paste them in multiple places, right? I have them here for easy access. And I guess that is it. So this, is the, this was the HBOM HTML editor for Windows CE. And I appreciate your time and attention. See you next time.